Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to walk through how to set up audit history for your data in your model driven app. This will enable the team using the app to be able to see any updates made to a record and who made those updates. It will look something like this once it is configured. Here you can see the change date, the changed by, the event, the changed field, the old value, and the new value for this form right here. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do if you do have system admin or system customizer roles in your environment, you can update these values and change the auditing behavior in the admin center. So we'll go to this gear sign, select the admin center, go over to environments and select the environment in which you want to change the auditing history for. In this section where it says auditing history, you'll go ahead and select manage, start auditing, and select the number of days you want the retention for this auditing log to be. I wouldn't do it more than 90 or 180 days just for performance reasons. So I'll go ahead and select 90 and save. Now that we've done organization, we'll go down to the table settings and enable auditing there. So we'll go back to our environment here We'll select a solution. I'll go ahead and select a pre-made solution that I've made in previous videos. So we'll use Trip Planner. We'll open up the tables and we'll select one of these tables to do the auditing. My main table is Trip, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that. I'll go into Properties here, open up this Advanced Options, Go down to for this table section, enable audit changes to its data and click save. Next, we want to go down to the column level and enable auditing for the specific columns that you want to enable auditing for. So I'll go over to columns. I'll select some columns that are in my main form. So I'm just going to switch over to my model driven app here. So it looks like I have name, destination, city, to, from. So I'll enable a few of these. I'll go ahead and open up name, open up advanced options. Looks like enable auditing was already enabled. So I'll go ahead and leave it as is, but if it's not, go ahead and check that and click save. And then I'll just check one more destination city. Same thing here, open up advanced options. Looks like it wasn't enabled. So I'll go ahead and do that and click save. Go ahead and publish your solution here. And then we can open up the model driven app and see it in action. All right, looks like I got the green banner here at the top that it succeeded. I'll go over to my apps and I'll play this model driven app. And then I'll select any one of these trips and you'll be able to see the audit history tab. Once you click on this related tab here, you can expose it that way. And you'll notice that the audit history has already started to log things. So let's go ahead and make a change to one of the fields that we enabled auditing for. I'll go back to general and change this to I'll click save, go over to audit history. And I refresh the audit history here on the right hand side and you'll see that it has logged the changes. So it was changed by me. The event was an update. I changed the name field. The old value was Andrea's summer trip and the new value is Andrea's winter trip. Let's do one more change to see what happens. Save it, go over to audit history, refresh this and you'll see that those values get added to the top as well. 
So as you can see here, changing the audit history and making that enabled for us to be able to see the changes for your business, for your personal needs, you can do that simply by following those three steps. I hope this helped. Thanks.